Okay, when I last left you, I was going to be uh, finishing up the holes, I think, <clears throat> and um, filling them with concrete, which I've done all the way around, and put these uh, post anchors in, uh, 11 of them. All the way down here. So now we're going to come up uh, about 10 inches on a 4x4 on that post and then um, level it out all the way around and then I'll anchor the post or the 2x8s uh, to the post. So that's where we are now. Be back soon. Alright, got all the floor posts down now. All nine of them. They're in concrete and they're bolted down to the, to the metal brackets. I've already got the holes drilled for the actual floor joists to go through. Pretty even, as even as can be. Um, so now I'm going to lay some uh, vapor barrier down. And uh, actually, I think I'm going to do it, if I have enough, do it everywhere. But uh, get that done. And um, then I will start on the floor joist. So until then. All right, got the vapor barrier down for the new part. Pretty good coverage. Uh, there's actually old vapor barrier even under that. So some of the stuff like that's up there is under this layer. So it's pretty thick. And it's been fairly humid down here. And the dirt's been exposed for a while. So I'm hoping uh, this will bring that down. And then once I get the floor done, I'll straighten all this out so it's, you know, all mashed down and not nasty, but uh, it'll do the trick now. And uh, I think we're ready for the floor joist. We'll be doing um, 2 by 8 by 12s uh, across this way. And uh, we'll do two of those here, one on each side. Two of those on these three, one on each side, and then of course one there and one on the end. So it'll be six total. I think it's going to be somewhere around 20 feet by ten and a half feet, I think, something like that, ten and a half feet across. So it should be a pretty good space. All right. I'll uh, once I get the uh, the joist started, I'll uh, do another one. Until then. Okay, I thought I'd take a little progression video before I finish this side up. Um, I don't know where I left off last, but uh, we've got all the hangers pre-installed uh, on these cross, I don't know, floor joists, whatever. And so now I'm putting in the actual floor joists, and um, that seems to be fitting perfect. I think I'm like a half inch off from this side all the way over to this side but uh, now I'm just going to finish those up uh, still got to do a little drilling on that and um, figure out exactly how how big I'm going to make this side because um, it's got to be a little shorter because of the door opening and because I'm leaving a little room over here beside the the uh, HVAC air handler but uh, I'll do another one whenever this is done and um, We'll go from there. All right, until they finished uh, finished the first quadrant here. Turned out really well, uh, really sturdy. There was a little um, wobble in the four x four posts, which I kind of expected, but not anymore. Everything's uh, everything's really really tight. I'll probably have to plane just a little bit, just because I'm anal plane the two by eights just a little. So whenever the plywood falls down, it'll uh, <clears throat> you know, won't have any humps or anything, but everything came out even. Uh, it's level. So now we'll go uh, to this quadrant and this one. So I'm hoping to do that pretty quick. Do it the same way. All right. All right. Um, filming now because this is a fairly uh, monumental occasion in this build because the awkward part is over. By awkward, I mean the part that is hard for a fat guy like myself. So I've got all the posts in, uh, all the 
you know main joists in uh, screwed up um, on this part the post here and here are different than these just because I ran into <clears throat> I don't know if it's old bedrock or concrete. I'm going to assume it's concrete down on this end. So I had to move these posts. And whenever I did, it threw off all of these hangers where they're supposed to be. So what I ended up doing was um, flipping this piece right here. It, it uh, I don't, I don't even know a great way to explain it, but basically I was able to move it enough. And that's why, if you look right here, these are off a little. Whereas everywhere else they're going to be uh, about the same, but saved me from having to go get more wood and um, also gave me a little bit more room here to clear the door. So you see the first joist starts right there and there's the door all the way wide open. So um, I'm not going to hit that, which will be good. <laughs> um, so all those are done. I have to get 10 two by eight by six uh, for the center part. These were two by eight by eight um, chopped down just a little bit. This this is a little closer, so we'll be able to do the, the six and uh, 10 of those, and then I'm gonna have to do eight foots over here, um, just seven of them. Uh, probably trim this piece off at some point. That was part of my mess up. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do back there, but it'll allow me to get to this drain. Uh, leaving space there. There won't be floor there at all. A couple other things to mention. These uh, carriage bolts that I'm putting in, there's two per 4x4. Four four. Um, and on these particular ones, it goes through two of the 2x8s. Now, the problem here is uh, getting them through. Um, I did best I could trying to line them up but uh, wanted to mention um, my attitude adjusters. Uh, I have two regular hammer. That's my first attitude adjuster. But if you really want to get it through, you need one of these guys. And uh, anyone I had a problem with, we adjusted the attitude, went straight on through. Um, so I think that's about it. I don't want to mention anything else I don't believe. <clears throat> do another one whenever all the joists are in and then we'll throw down the, the small bit of insulation and uh, I think what I'm going to do over here we did uh, three quarter inch ply treated uh, but I think I'm going to put some sort of flooring over this and um, this is dried out enough but over here if I put it it won't be out dried out enough so I'm going to do uh, probably half inch ply treated and then quarter inch over the top of that, face the other way, it'll give it a little bit more strength. And then just some cheap, cheap um, vinyl stick planks, whatever you call them, um, to go over the top and at least make it a little tough and easy to sweep up. And also, once this platform gets built, I noticed that from here up to the ceiling is going to be the exact same as from once the floor gets in from here up to the ceiling. So it's going to be really easy. I think I'm going to put a, <clears throat> a platform or a walkway between here and here and here and here just to be able to get across that side and end up uh, with, well, almost double the space. Actually, not even close to double, but a lot more space over there and be able to clean up all this mess. So that's about it. It's a little longer than last time, but uh, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now. Okay, the we're uh, done with the floor joists. All of them. <clears throat> All the way down here. All the way over there. So I cut off uh, just enough room here to mess the door. I don't know what I'm going to do right here because there's a little bit of a step up, maybe a foot or so. I don't know. I'll do something there. Uh, but everything else, everything's level. A lot more level than the other side was, so that's good. I've got a little lip over there left. I'm going to leave that for now. I don't know. I'm not going to cut that one off yet. I'm also not going to cut this one off. I just 
have a feeling I might use that for something. I don't know what. <clears throat> also, what I added was those three, or were those three joists there. Uh, oddly enough, they uh, they line up perfect. Um, they're almost level within. I'd say an eighth of an inch level with the other side. So uh, what that'll give me is a way to get across to the other side. And what I'll probably do, um, well, actually I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I need to bring power down here next. I think what I wanna do is put uh, right in this area, which is almost the middle of these two. That's well, almost the middle of everything. Uh, <clears throat> need to put some power. I think that's where I'm gonna put a, my, uh, hey. Get out of there. That's where I'm going to put my uh, table saw, I think. And I need, I'm going to have the power running through the, uh, through the floor. Hey, get, get back over here. Getting himself trapped. Seriously? Come on. Come on. You're about to hurt yourself. Go on. So, I'm going to put uh, some power right there in the center. And I have no idea. How those plugs work but uh, or even what they look like but I'm gonna get one and I don't know put it in probably uh, on this side of that uh, support um, that's where I'm gonna put the uh, breaker box for the I think I'm gonna do a hundred amp sub panel just because I don't know it's not that much more expensive over the 60 and that'll make sure that I don't burn something down so uh, and then be able to move a lot of that stuff over there out and around and make some more space. So this big floor is uh, joister done. So um, power next. Uh, I'm going to lay uh, half inch ply treated down first and then quarter inch on top. Um, <clears throat> just so I have something to put floor in. Hey, get over here. Don't go that way. Go on. Go. Just so... Uh, I've got something, I don't want to try to stick any flooring or stick on flooring to uh, the uh, treated ply because um, it won't be dry enough. That side will be, this side will not. So that's the plan. So uh, until next time.